Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo, climb flight level 360. Climb flight level 360, Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo. 360 blue. Check. I do the yellow reservoir low level. I have controls and communications. You have control and communication. Okay, we are climbing flight level 360. We can continue climb level 360 and on the route. Okay, it's not necessary to communicate with the ATC right now. We have idle problem. Yes, we don't have any OEB. No OEB. And uh, only reservoir low level. And we have some faults on the engine pump and PTU. ECAM actions. Okay. Hydraulic yellow reservoir low level. PTU off. Let me check the overhead panel. Hydraulic PTU off. Yellow engine two pump off. Yellow engine two pump off. Clear hydraulic. Clear. Secondary failures. Flight control. Spoilers four and two in up and yellow hydraulic system in up. Check. Clear flight control. Clear. Status. Stop status. Do we have any normal checklist here? No. No. Um, any computer reset or temporary revision? About hydraulic we don't have. No, no temporary revision. Continue status. Status. Landing distance procedures apply. Check. Flats, uh, sorry. Flap slow, cat 3 single only, in up systems, yellow hydraulic, spoiler 2 and 4, cat 3 dual, nose wheel string, reversers 2, cargo door, yaw damper 2. Check. Remove status. Remove. Check I'm action completed. Okay, you have controls and communications. Right? I have controls and communications. Okay, let's make a four deck captain. Facts. What failure do we have now? Hydraulic page. We lost yellow hydraulic quantity and uh, we switched off the uh, engine uh, hydraulic pump. We have got single uh, hydraulic failure. Okay. We have single hydraulic failure. Options. Okay, we are at flight level 360 right now. We can continue uh, to our destination, Stuttgart. Second option, we can turn back to Istanbul at Turkey Airport. We are close to Istanbul, yes. Yes. And next is, we can right now divert to any en route alternate, Sofia or uh, Otopeni. We have uh, three options uh, here. Uh, before we uh, make our decision, I would like to uh, talk with the OCC department uh, to assess the risks. I will ask if we have any, any uh, enough technical assistance in Stuttgart. Okay. okay. OCC, good morning. Juliet Papa Alpha. Juliet Papa Alpha, OCC, good morning, Captain. Go ahead. Uh, good morning. Um, our destination is Stuttgart, and uh, we have a, a technical problem, hydraulic problem. We lost uh, one system. So, can I talk with the technical representative on OCC? Uh, Captain, okay, I am informing MCC, and they will be on this frequency right now. Stand by. Thank you. Papa Alpha, this is uh, MCC. Go ahead, Captain. Uh, okay, this is Juliet Papa Alpha. Uh, we have hydraulic problem and we lost yellow uh, hydraulic fluid completely. So uh, this is single uh, hydraulic uh, failure. We lost total yellow uh, hydraulic pressure. And uh, I, will, I want to ask if we have any enough assistance on Stuttgart if we decide to continue the flight. 
Uh, yes, Captain, at Stuttgart we have our technician and we have also a uh, very good support from uh, third uh, party uh, technical uh, assistance at Stuttgart. So we can handle any technical problem there. Okay, thank you very much, all cockpit. Uh, I will call you back again after we make our decision. Thank you very much. Okay, Captain, we are tracking you also on the FRC. Okay, one, two, one, one, five. Okay, uh, OC Sigtel told me that we have enough assistance there in Stuttgart, so they can handle it in Stuttgart. They advise to continue, but we will make our decision uh, before, and then I will call uh, the OCC once again. So, um, options, go Stuttgart, come back to Istanbul and the uh, en route uh, alternative, we have Sofia and uh, Otopeni. So on status, we have landing distance procedure applied. Um, as risk, uh, I should calculate our landing distance while we are landing to Stuttgart Airport. So the weather was fine there. Okay. Um, for fuel penalty factors, Captain, uh, I will. Uh, make my calculation and then I will use our metrics then we approach assessment with failure and then I will go to table of, of land distance uh, with failure and then I will uh, tell you our exact uh, distance let me make my calculation first okay captain for risk assessment on the table of fuel penalty factors is we have hydraulic failures and yellow system low pressure it says if um, left or right spoilers 2 and 4 are um, indicated extended at the time of the failure so they are not uh, extended only uh, faulty so uh, we will disregard this uh, percentage of uh, fuel penalty factor and then I have calculated our landing distance which is 1600 meters That's so we enough, have uh, enough uh, for uh, landing Okay. Okay. This is uh, the landing distance calculation and another risks. Uh, we continue to Stuttgart with single hydraulic uh, failure. If we lose any other hydraulic uh, systems, then this will be serious uh, dual hydraulic uh, failure. But we have enough uh, in route alternates here on Stuttgart in this uh, airspace. So we can handle it if we have any other uh, hydraulic failure. This is the other risk. So uh, these are all risks we, if we continue to, to cut. And what is your uh, decision, Captain? Yeah, as we discussed before, we don't have any uh, bad weather condition during our route. Uh, in this case, Captain Lighting uh, can continue to shoot cut. Yeah, I agree uh, with you. So our decision is to continue Stuttgart. Landing distance is good. So uh, it's not necessary to come back to Istanbul or direct airport right now. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. So execute of the decision. I will call OCC and it's not necessary to call ATC or um, any other uh, communication. Okay. All right. OCC Juliet Papa Alpha. Papa Alpha OCC, go, go ahead, Captain. Okay, uh, we made our decision, so we continue uh, to Stuttgart. And uh, please inform the technical department on Stuttgart that we have yellow uh, hydraulic system uh, failure. We lost all completely the yellow hydraulic fluid. Yes, yellow hydraulic, we have copied it, you lost all the hydraulic fluid and uh, we already informed our technician at Stuttgart, they will be waiting for you on the arrival at Stuttgart, Captain. Okay, thank you very much. Nice flight, bye-bye. Captain, no change, five. proceeding some of and... 
Okay. okay. Change. Thank you. For deck, execute and finally check. We will check other hydraulic systems. I have controls, you have communication. You have controls, I have communication. I have controls and communication. You have controls and communications. Okay, we lost autopilot, I'm flying manually. We have auto trust and we are maintaining flight level 360 to Somov. Roger, we already had yellow you know, uh, system failures. Check. Yes. Clear auto flight, autopilot off. Clear. We lost green system also, Captain. Check. Hydraulic green yellow system low pressure. Stand by, Cam. You have controls. I have control. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Sofa control, Turkish Bravo 8 kilo. We have dual hydraulic uh, failure. Stand by. Turkish Bravo 8 kilo, Roger, mayday, copy. Okay, I have my headset. I have controls and communications. You may have your headset, please. You have control and communication. No OEB. ECAM actions. Hydraulic green and yellow system low pressure. Green engine one pump off. Let me check the overhead panel. Hydraulic engine one pump off. Maneuver with care. Check. Clear hydraulic. Clear. Flat control alternate low. Protection lost. Maximum speed 320 or 77 Mach. Check. Set, set speed 0.7. Five. Check. Clear flight control. Clear. Secondary failures. Land asset uh, red. Wheel. Let me check. Nose wheel lost. Nose wheel stink. Anti skid. Normal braking and auto brake. Checked. Clear wheel. Clear. Flight control, just uh, we have got spoiler 3 and we lost green systems and yellow systems. Also, uh, also we lost pitch trim, THS. Clear? Clear. Flight control. Status. Okay, stop status. We don't have any normal checklist here. Yes. We are all completed. And no computer reset, no temporary revision, so we may continue status. 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 Max speed uh, 320 or 77, we already did it. Uh, maximum brake pressure is 1000 psi. Maneuver with care. If hydraulic not recovered, uh, let me check. It still continue. Green and yellow, zero. Checked. Uh, for landing, use flap 3. Checked. GBW uh, flap mode off. When config 3 and approach, landing gear will be gravity extension. Check. Approach speed will have plus 25 knot. Landing distance procedures apply. Alternate low, protection lost. <coughs> when landing gear done, direct low will be. Brake yellow accumulator pressure only. Slots will be slow. Check. In up systems, green and yellow hydraulic. Flight control, uh, protection, stabilizer, reversers 1 and 2, spoiler 1, 2, 4, 5, flaps, yaw damper, autopilot 1 and 2, cat 2, anti-skid, nose wheel stink, normal braking, auto brake, landing gear will be retract, uh, manually, cargo door and green engine one pump we lost. Remove status. Remove. ECAM action completed. Okay, Captain, you have controls and communication. I have control and communication. Let's make a very quick uh, four deck. So, facts. We lost uh, green and yellow uh, hydraulic. This is dual hydraulic failure. Land asap is red, which is uh, uh, time critical, as I said before. So, options. On the left, we have Sofia as alternate airport. And on the right, we have Bucharest. And so, so we have two options. And so yes. assess the risk, yes, yes. Uh, the weather for Sofia is uh, okay with clear and uh, wind is calm. For Otopene, there was uh, heavy rain uh, on in uh, Otopene. So 
to assess the risk, we have the weather. So far, it's fine. Uh, Auto pain, there's heavy rain, and we have summary checklist on this failure. I'm gonna check only the cruise part of the summary to make our decision very quickly. Okay, hydraulic green, yellow system, low pressure. Maximum speed 3 to 0 0.77, manual gear, no stabilizer, ultimate low protection, slow fuel, increased fuel cons consumption. I'm gonna go to table and for the for landing performance assessment, refer to in flight uh, performance part. Okay, uh, I have completed the calculations, uh, kept for our two options. So on um, summary it, it is telling us to go to in flight uh, performance uh, part of the QRH so I, I have started with the fuel penalty factor it is telling us the um, uh, fuel penalty factor is 10 to 15 percent due to stabilized uh, trimmable horizontal stabilizer as uh, jammed as stabilizer so we get the worst case 15 percent but we have enough uh, fuel to divert our options and then I have done the uh, matrix we have put um, calculation with failure and landing distance with failure so with dual hydraulic the weather is fine in Sofia and uh, runway is dry so landing distance is 2400 meters for Sofia and for Otopene with dual hydraulic runway is wet uh, I have got the um, um, uh, breaking uh, effect of uh, good uh, via the metrics so landing distance is 2800 meters um, so we will have a high speed on the approach due to hydraulic failure and runway is wet in autopeni we have longer landing distance for autopeni and there is heavy rain Sofia clear weather and shorter landing distance than uh, autopeni it says uh, Sofia is better, Captain. Yeah, what is your uh, opinion here? In this case, uh, I think it's better to divert to Sofia. Yeah, I agree with you. So, uh, our decision is to divert to Sofia, uh, Captain. Okay. All right. I will so, call ATC. Yes, please, uh, for decision is done and execute, please call ATC that we are request radar vector and descend for Sofia. Radar Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo. Our decision is divert to Sofia and we request the, uh, radar vector again descent. Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo, Roger, turn left heading 250, descent to uh, 170. Turning left heading uh, 250, descent flight level 170, Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo. Set heading 250 and flight level 170 Class title open descent flight level 170 Checked, clear, set minute speed Clear Okay Now execute, we call the ATC I'm gonna call uh, the uh, purser Purser to the cockpit Captain, hello, this is Metin. Okay, Metin, uh, we have hydraulic failure, which is very serious. We have prepared emergency right now. We are diverting to Sofia Airport. We started our descent. And we have around 20 minutes maximum to uh, land. So prepare the cabin uh, for this emergency. And due to this uh, serious idle failure, this will be an emergency landing. So we may expect uh, evacuation maybe uh, after landing. These are all. Please uh, repeat. 
Okay, Captain, we are uh, going to Sofia, emergency landing. We have hydraulic problem and we have around 20 minutes. Okay, I will return to you when the cabin is ready. Thank you. Call me when you are fully ready in the cabin. Okay, okay uh, Captain, I will make a short gear announcement now. Hanımefendiler, beyefendiler ve sevgili çocuklar. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sending divert message via a card to the OSC okay, captain. captain. Only divert, it's not necessary to call. Divert. We are also, I think, uh, out of range of the Exactly. Yes. Okay. Um, we have informed all the ATC and the other things are completed. So now I will prepare the aircraft for landing, Captain. Uh, I will get the weather first via the ATIS. Turkish Power 8 Kilo Sofia. Go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, when available, please report the uh, total uh, person on board and uh, fully on board and uh, any special request. Better stand by, please. Captain, uh, that is asking total on board, fuel and any special request. Okay, total on board is uh, 79. This will be emergency landing. And uh, we need full assistance when we land uh, on the runway, including fire trucks. Okay, and, and it will be a long approach. Yes. Okay. okay. Stand by. Yeah. Radar Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo and 79 total on board. We have got approximately 7,500 kilogram. Fuel and will be a long approach and after landing will be full stop on runway. We need full assistance and we need to pull after landing for your information and of uh, after landing because uh, fire assistance. Turkish Bravo APO, Roger, uh, Captain all information, cockpit you may now switch on one to one one. Uh, switch frequency one to one one, uh, Sofia uh, approach Turkish uh, Bravo 8 Kilo. Uh, one to one, one, one is set. Okay. Sofia approach this Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo descent flight level 170. Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo uh, descent uh, 7000 feet on Kurdish 1013. Descent 7000 uh, Kurdish 1013 Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo. Set 7000 and pull. Okay. Flight level 70 blue. Okay, so I get the better. Sophia, information, golf. Inform, Sophia, on initial contact that you have received, golf. This is Sophia. Okay, the weather in Sophia is expecting ILS 09, runway is dry, wind 09 is 10 knots, sky clear 12 degrees, 1013. Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo confirm descent flight level 70. Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo affirm descent 70 and left heading 230. Left heading 230 and descent flight level 70. Turkish Bravo 8 Kilo. Set heading 230. Heading 230 set. Minus 1,500, please. Vertical speed, one, minus 1,500, please. Speed, VS, minus 1,500. Okay, Captain, 
I have completed all my FMS and uh, aircraft preparation for the approach. Now I'm uh, I will make a briefing, approach briefing. I'm ready, Captain. Okay. So before the normal briefing, I will review our uh, situation, the abnormal briefing. So on status we have uh, dual hydraulic failure, and I have the summary page for this dual um, hydraulic. We have reviewed all the status for approach phase. This will be Cat 1 approach. Slots will be slow, flaps are jammed. So that's why we will request long approach. And for landing, we will use flap 3. I have selected flap 3 and we have GPWS flaps mode off. And for flaps extension, we will select fly selected speed and we will select the speed VFE next minus 5. And then when reaching this speed, I will request uh, the next uh, flap setting. When we are in config 3, we will decide to calculate the approach speed, which is 161. It will be non standard. We will start with the flap 3 confirm. Effort. Okay. And then, when in conf 3 and we approach speed, conf 3 and we approach speed, stabilize it, we approach before landing gear down to be trimmed for approach. And then, I will request landing gear gravity extension from the summary. Okay. It's not necessary to continue uh, to go to other uh, current checklist. So, uh, gravity, gear extension, hand crank pull and turn. Rotate three times and then landing gear down and gear down check. And disregard use manual pitch trim. Manual trim is unusual. These are for the approach. And for landing, pitch authority is reduced. Manual trim is unusable. When flaps jam close to zero, perform positive landing. One only one spoiler per ring, and after landing here, I will have direct low. Okay, pull, uh, push 1013. 1013 is set cross checked, passing 11,700 feet. Now, check. Okay, and we do, we do not have reversers, so I will not set any reverser here, Captain. Okay. So braking, brake yellow accumulator only, seven applications. Maximum brake pressure will be 1000 psi, which is limited automatically. I will inform you, Captain. Check. And we do not have nose west ring operative, so we will request uh, tow car. request tow for police. Check. Okay. In case of Coran, no Speed gear outside. rejection. Check. In case of Coran, no gear rejection, fuel increased fuel consumption for circuit. We will maintain slab flap configuration, which is flap oh. 3, and landing gear down. We will have speed, we approach speed for uh, circuit. And for diversion, we will select clean configuration. Okay, okay. Turkish Bravo 8 kilo, left heading 220. Left heading 220, Turkish Bravo 8 kilo. Set heading 220. Heading 220 blue. Checked. Okay, now normal briefing, uh, Captain. Okay, aircraft type we know A320, and we checked all the technical status. We know the NOTAMs. There's no operational NOTAM which can affect our uh, approach and landing. We know the weather. Runway in use is 09. Extra fuel. We have uh, so much fuel to land. Okay, this is my abnormal and normal briefing, Captain. Completed. Do you have any question? No question. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, meeting. Captain, all preparations are completed. We are ready for the landing, and you will be standing by for your orders after the landing, Captain. Uh, all copied, you are ready. Uh, thank you. Uh, nice time. Okay, Kevin is ready, Captain as well. Okay. I have controls, you have communication. You have control, I have communication. Heading is still radar vector, Captain 240, 11,000 feet, maintaining speed 280. Checked. Turkish Bravo, 8 kilo descent, 5,000. 
Z5000 feet uh, Turkish bro, 8 kilo. Z5000 feet, pull. Trust idle open, Z5000 feet blue. Check. Approach checklist. Bilifink. Confirmed. Account status. Status. Captain, you already done every calculation and bully actions. Let me check. Performance page 161. Config reset and flap mode selected. Remove status. Remove. Seatbelts on. Barrel F. 1013 set. 1013 set. Minimum. 1940 set. 1940 set. Engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist completed. The left heading 230. Left heading 230, Turkish Bravo 8 kilo. Set heading 230. Heading 230. Set speed 225. Speed 225 set. Check. Okay, sequencing flight plan, Captain from Benef, Bradley. Okay, flight plan sequenced. Full heading. Heading full. Okay, Captain, let me remind you for approach, get to inop, slot slow, flaps jammed. For landing, flap, we will use flap 3. GPW mode, GPS flap mode off, already done. For flaps extension, we will decrease speed 5 uh, knot below VFE next. And config 3, this is to calculate vapor speed. And uh, when in config landing aircraft extension, I will uh, inform you, Captain. Check. For landing, flares will be pitch auto reduced, spoilers only per one wing, no reversers, Check. do not use any reverse, braking yellow accumulator pressure only, I will inform you for the uh, seven applications and uh, pressure, no nose wheel stick, we already request. Uh, Pushback track for pulling. Checked.